Why don't you lift your hands? Just lift your hands to the King of Kings. Lift your hands in reverence. Lift your hands in worship. Open your mouth and adore Him. Open your mouth and bless Him. New Matak, I can't hear you. Lift your voice. Magnify the name of Jesus. Just lift your hands as we sing that song. A little bit more just to reference his presence. Even glory, even glory. One more time, hallelujah. Lift your voice and give the praise. One more time, open your mouth and bless the Lord. One more time, open your mouth and adore Him. One more time, open your mouth and bless Him. Give Him glory. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Mighty warrior, great in battle, Jehovah. You're the mighty warrior, ready battle, Jehovah is your name, Jehovah is your name, Jehovah is your name. You raise the sound of your voice and declare, Mighty Warrior. Oh, 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 To win. One more time, mighty warrior, you are so great, Jehovah. Can you hold the hands of your neighbor? I want us to agree together tonight, just in two minutes. I want you to lift your voice, agree with your neighbor tonight for a mighty visitation of his presence and his power 
to your life and all that concerns you wherever you are lift your voice hold the hands of your neighbor and let's just pray in agreement tonight lord visit me by your power no we pray better in this place we pray much more than this we pray more than this here this is a house of prayer lift your voice visit me with your power visit me with your presence lift your voice and pray if you are expectant tonight if you know something is about to change if you know that your weeping season is about to come to an end if you know that the time has come for God to favor you the set time Just pray everywhere. Lift your voice and pray. Soon and say, Wonder Soon and say, Lift your voice and pray. Just pray everywhere. Kaskia soon and say, Wonder Sunday, Lord, do something new in my life. Do something new. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Your name is God. mighty name we pray Lord tonight we agree for a visitation like never before we agree for an overflow and an outpouring of your presence your power let there be a notable change and a transformation let what you do tonight register your finger your hand and your signature in our lives and destinies let our families and friends who are far away from here connected to us and those online experience a tangible visitation and let your name be glorified in jesus precious name we pray please clap your hands and take your seat hallelujah amen psalms 110 very quickly 
welcome to pneumatic and i trust the lord to do us good today in jesus name i said i trust god to do us good today in jesus name so those online and those that are here who want to welcome you distance is not a barrier god can touch you wherever you are and in case you are following online and you are in Meiduguri right now, wherever you are, you can get up, dress up, and make your way down to this place very quick. God will reach out to you online, but there's something about being in the very presence of God. And the Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. Psalms 110 verse 3. Psalms 110 verse 3. I read the King James translation. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. Brothers and sisters, I believe that the days of too much talk is over. Did you hear what I said? The day of thy power. When you read that scripture in context, it was referring to what happened in acts of the apostle in the, on the day of pentecost he says the lord will send the rod of thy strength out of zion and that happened when the holy ghost came on the day of pentecost so from that time until now until jesus come this dispensation is what i refer to as the day of his power do we understand what i'm saying here god has invested his grace and his power on certain vessels on this earth so that God will not be without a witness in our lives and there are few of them on earth they are not much because it takes a lot of sacrifice and alignment and it takes the election of grace to be a witness to the power and the grace of God to a generation so there are not many of such vessels on earth it's unfortunate that in our generation we have too many talkatives and i vow that i will not be a talkative without the power of god to back it up and tonight we have in this place one of those few choice vessels of god amen shortly we'll rise to receive him this is a man i love so much from the depth of my heart in fact i just felt the anointing while saying it that means it's true i love him so dearly and i believe that my connection to him will be to jesus comes it doesn't matter if it is 10 years 40 years our children will be connected our grandchildren will be connected so that that grace can continually flow amen this is a man that i have seen the hand of god in his life I believe that he is a witness of the raw power and presence of God. And uh, in the next few minutes, you are set for an encounter with such power. And then it will be a proof to what I'm saying tonight. Apostle Dr. Eloy Michael is not uh, a strange name to this house. He was here with us May last year. We had a special miracle service. And I trust God that next year we are going to have more than a day with him according to his schedule i trust god will have a full conference where he will come and then we just receive from this stream and this fountain he's a medical doctor and a preacher of the gospel the president of tabernacle of part of his power network tabernacle of his power network international in kaduna state so pneumatic please be upstanding everywhere I want you with a clap of hand and a shout of praise. Let's welcome on stage God's servant all the way from the city of Kaduna, an apostle to this generation, an apostle from Nigeria to the ends of the earth. God bless you, sir. Hallelujah. 
this house indeed is a house of love. I, 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 I genuinely celebrate what God is doing in this place. Immediately we drove in here, I felt the anointing of God just all over this place. It shows that God is actually residing here. And I tell you, you have not made a mistake being in this place. Are we together now? Yeah. There are places where you go to, even for ministration, you just know the place is empty. Now, as a minister, you now have a very plenty work to do to stir up the spirit again. I mean, if you're not a minister, you will not understand what I'm saying. You will have to sing and sing and sing and pray and pray and pray for the atmosphere to be charged. But I, I don't think I need to stir any atmosphere here. <laughs> Hallelujah. I genuinely celebrate the set man of this commission. Yeah. You know, for those of you that have been in Meduguri, um, don't mind my voice, this is not the original voice, but um, we've been with the Chapel of Grace for the past four days. Um, that has actually taken her voice but notwithstanding um, I spoke to her boss I said there is no way I will be in Meduguri without coming to say hello to SGNR <laughs> Apostle I mean the, the head of the chapel said, is there no way you can suspend your meeting with those people I said it's better I suspend this one no. But that is a special one. Hallelujah. Indeed, God is doing mighty things in this place. And I must say, Apostle, God is taking SGNI to the world. Yeah, to the world. To the world. Once again, if you're not jealous of your pastor, your man of God, celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Of course, I want to also celebrate the assistant pastors, those that have been working with him. I mean, yeah, they are all some sort of people. I'm happy for Pastor Henry. He's now Baba. What's, what's the name now? What? Eh? Baba Shina. As at last year, when we came, there was no Baba to it. Is that true? And now there is a Baba to it. Can you celebrate Pastor Henry? <laughs> Hallelujah. Um, Pastor Victor. <laughs> Hallelujah. And very soon, we'll be hearing that sound. That sister just me. <laughs> oh, I hope I will be there to <laughs> Amen well, well, we'll discuss that Come on, hold the hand of somebody Hold the hand of somebody Hold the hand of somebody In 30 seconds, just go ahead and pray in the Holy Ghost On site and online Go ahead and pray in the Holy Ghost she pickles kefed kolodobin kendols kedede shabaru segede predetu segede idols gedebi tedish gedebili tatus gibai father we thank you we thank you we thank you we celebrate you for what you're doing she kepe rusa daba prodos kete predegede shabapro sete pete pekete Am baru segedos adabre rita beledos. Father, we love you. We celebrate you for what you are doing. There is none like you in all the earth. Shaka pato kepete kepekete. Thank you, Father. 
Him Baraboska. We ask, Spirit of the Lord, that you take preeminence in the name of Jesus. And lastly, could you put your hands together for yourselves as you please? You may be seated in God's presence. Thank you. Thank you so much. Once again, Apostle, thank you so much for having me here. It is my belief that in the next few minutes, our lives will never remain the same in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whilst I was coming, I was asking the Lord, what do we say to God's people? What is it that you've prepared for them? And the Lord said to me, it is activating the season of supernatural rest. Activating the season of supernatural rest. There are some of you now, after now, God is going to launch you into a season of supernatural rest. In the precious name of Jesus. Matthew chapter 11. Holy Spirit, Matthew 11. You are the lion and the lamb, the words of the Father, forever you remain. The same. You are the lion and the lamb, the words of the Father, forever you remain. The same. Matthew 11, and let's together now, let's read verse 28, if you have a Bible with you. Matthew 11 and verse 28. One, two, go. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Could you help me tell your neighbor, see that close to you, activating the season of supernatural rest? I can't hear you. Activating the season of supernatural rest. I'm hearing something. Holy Spirit, I want to just preach. No prophecy now. I'm hearing something. Activating the season of supernatural rest. Every now and then, as believers, we aspire to become great. To us, the season of greatness is a season of rest. Because at that point, you feel you don't have anything you need. But I realize truly, if it is not in God, you will always have something to pray about. Are we together now? So there is a success called success and there is one they call good success. In finances, we want to have supernatural rest. In health wise, we want to have supernatural rest. If God gives a man rest, that man does not need to bother about any man. So long as it is God that has given it to you, you don't need to bother about any man. If a man answers your prayer, he comes with conditions. Am I communicating with someone here? Woo! I'm still hearing this name. Holy Spirit, let's finish. <laughs> oh, come in, I will end up prophesying and not preaching and I will go to the chapel. <laughs> Holy Spirit, help us. So you see, there are times where people come to you, pastor, and tell you, sir, I need this from God. When you tell them, go and fast, they will tell you, okay, sir. When they go back, I tell you they don't fast. Whatever that will come from God, you have your role to play. 
Am I communicating now? You have your role to play. Faith without work is dead. So for any man to enter into the supernatural rest of God, the spirit of that man must be ready to receive. God cannot force you into giving you. Your heart must be ready to receive. Many are times, there are times we come to God's presence, you wonder why other people are receiving and you are not receiving. The reason is not far-fetched. The spirit, I mean, the channels of your spirit are actually locked. Apostle, there is nothing or nothing you can do for any man whose spirit is actually locked. No matter the amount of oil you pour on the head of that individual, if he does not believe what God is doing in and through you, you end up just wasting your time. And that is where you hear that man of God is not strong. No, sir. The channels of your spirit have not been opened. Has there not been a record that when Apostle Jonathan lays hands, people receive? How come with you it is not possible? Coming to SGNI every now and then, you wonder how God meets other people and he has not met you. Sir, I'm answering the question now. The channels of your spirit has been locked. So if a man will receive from God, if a man will enjoy God's supernatural rest, that man must have an open spirit first. That whenever we come before Elohim, we are ready for what he has for us part time. The problem with us is we are too familiar with his presence. And familiarity is what brings familiar spirits. You are used to your man of God. Please, never you be tempted to be used to your pastor. Never you be tempted to be used to the pulpit. Even if you are the prayer coordinator, every now and then, God has something to give to you. Scripture speaking in Lamentations says his mercies are new every morning. So whenever you come to his presence, Lord, this is what I need from you. You will be so shocked that when the apostle is preaching, he will address the matter at the exact time. You will say, oh God, I need my house rent. I cannot be suffering like this. Lord, the landlord has threatened and then just before you even finish your prayer, apostle comes up to tell you, God is paying the house rent of someone. That's because your spirit opened. That's because your spirit opened. I tell people, prophecy is not gimmicks. Prophecy is revealing the very mind of God. It's revealing the mind of God. Quickly, how do I activate the season? Of supernatural rest. How do I activate the season of supernatural rest? Number one, covenant practice. Via your covenant practice. Via covenant practice. Number one, covenant practice is via your thighs. Can a man rob God? No. And then the scripture went further to tell us that we have robbed him in our tithes, in our offerings. Some of us are armed robbers. You know they thief from men, you know, from God you they steal from. You are worse than the most terrible terrorists on the earth. Am I communicating? If truly you want to enjoy supernatural rest, I beseech you by the mercies of God, Become a covenant practitioner. These things work. You don't pray into prosperity, you give into prosperity. No matter how much you pray, you will. Have you seen very poor prayer warriors? I don't think they are in this place. <laughs> warriors worrying themselves. Without the understanding of covenant practice. Ask your neighbor, are you a robber? If the neighbor looks like one, look for another neighbor. Say, are you a robber? <laughs> Number two. Is by your offering. Offering. <laughs> 
some of us have covenant with 500 naira as offering there is a special covenant with 5 in your life if it is not 500 it is 50 naira you can't go less than that it's a terrible spirit you wonder why your pastors keep prospering you think it's by your tithe <laughs> you think it's by your offering if they tell you how much it takes to pull on every service you'll be shocked your offering is not equal to what is used to organize every service am i communicating yes via your offering you bring out an offering from your pocket you saw it is a thousand error. ah i made change you did the other pocket 500 50 naira. the lord will help us pastors please be seated number two unwavering faith to enjoy supernatural rest the season of supernatural rest unwavering faith unwavering faith Hebrews 11 and verse 3 unwavering faith unwavering faith are we there Hebrews 11 and verse 3 please help us through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that things which were which are seen were not made of things which do appear verse 6 but without faith it is impossible to please him the him there speaks about God so if you cannot please God there is no way you can enjoy his supernatural rest am I communicating here so it takes faith the Bible speaks of Abraham and Abraham staggered not unto the promises of God by unbelief. Sister, trust the Lord. The word of prophecy came to your life. And it looks as if things are not working according to the prophecy. Keep believing. It looks as if the more they prophesy to you, the more things get worse. Keep believing. The more they prophesy to you, the more you feel sick. Keep believing unwavering faith i've not seen any man that has enjoyed god's supernatural rest without totally depending on god this kingdom is a kingdom of faith of faith you can't go into ministry without faith the first question you want to ask yourself is what if what if in the process of the if the spirit of faith comes alive it comes alive it comes alive no wonder when joshua was to resume his office the things god said to him were be courageous be courageous be courageous because there are moments where the hurdles of these times will hit you hard but what will keep you is that you are courageous you are courageous there are times recession will come be courageous there are times that things that you never planned will come be courageous there are moments where your family members will give up on you be courageous there are moments where even your father will say you are useless be courageous because it is out of that season that the real you will be perfect it is out of that season of rejection that the real you will be perfect let me tell you this if you have been rejected is a sign that god is about to announce you to your world if you have not been rejected please go and start looking for rejection am i communicating here until joseph was rejected hear me until he was rejected he didn't know that they were actually making pathways for him to arrive at the palace man's denial is not god's denial they are permitted to include you but they are not permitted to conclude you am i communicating now who is he that says a thing and it comes to pass when the lord commanded it not rejoice not over me my enemies for if i fall i will rise again have you not read the bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous many are the afflictions of the righteous 
but the Lord God delivered them from them all it's only a matter of time it's only a matter of time they left you in the pit don't worry your destination is in the palace they left you in the prison don't worry your destination is in the palace they left you by the wayside don't worry your destination is in the palace it's only a matter of time it's only a matter of time those that rejected you will celebrate you those that said no to you will begin to say yes to you it's only a matter of time Time. He maketh all things beautiful in his time. I know I don't have the car yet. The car is coming. I know I don't have the money yet. The money is coming. I know I don't have the contract yet. I know the contract is coming. Don't conclude over me. Don't conclude over me. In a matter of time, I will come out of the prison. In a matter of time, I will come out of the prison in a matter of time i will come out of the prison hear me they locked peter and paul in the prison the bible says they locked them in the inner chamber of the prison but while they locked them paul knew the god he was serving he knew no matter where you drop me my god will bring me out of these no matter where you lock me my god will bring me out of these hear me child of god God. I don't know the prison they kept you, but I see God bringing you out. I say you are coming out. God is bringing you out. God is bringing you out. God is bringing you out. Somebody say I'm coming out. Say I'm coming out. Say I'm coming out. Say I'm coming out. They took Daniel, Pastor. They took Daniel and threw him into the lion's den. Daniel was not scared, sirs. He was never scared. You know why? Because he knew his God was the lion of Judah. Every other lion goes into hiding. When that lion comes, hear me, child of God. It doesn't matter the den they've thrown you. It doesn't matter the den they've kept you. My God is able to deliver you. I said, my God is able to deliver you. I said, God is able to deliver you. I said, God is able to deliver you. I said, God is able to deliver you. 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 Please be seated. It's only a matter of time. He's bringing you out. It's only a matter of time. It's bringing you out. Pastor, your ministry is not growing. It's a matter of time. God has given you the ability, the grace to heal the sick. It looks as if the more you pray for them, the more they fall sick. It's bringing you out. Hear me. There is no genuine greatness without track record. There is no genuine greatness without track record, sir show me your track record and i will show you the head of goliath you have david could take off the head of goliath because of the track record he had that was what he banked on king forget this guy i have handled a lion before i have handled a bear before is this the uncircumcised philistine no, this one is too small. He's a, he's a bush meat for me to miss. He's a bush meat for me to miss. Am I communicating now? But can I say this? During the times of his track record, there were rough experiences. It was not easy for him to have fought with a lion. It took a lot of struggle. It took a lot of fighting for him to successfully defeat the lion. It's possible you are in that season of dealing with the lion keep dealing with the lion allow god to take you through the process in this kingdom the children of his do not escape track record only vagabonds try to escape there is no shortcut in this kingdom only vagabonds try to escape and of course i agree with you that you are not a bastard 
So track record is part of his agenda. I know you are living in a one room apartment. Just keep at it. Whilst you are in that your room, keep blowing in tongues. Do it rejoicing. Lord, I know I'm going out of this place. This is not my end point. I know I'm done with school. It looks as if good job is not coming. Baras kata. Big post keep paper tie. It is only a matter of time. It's part of his schooling for you. Yes, it's part of his schooling. The difference between here and there is letter T. And T represents time. They are ahead of you. They are actually not ahead of you. Can I say that again? For every true son of the kingdom, you feel they are ahead of you. They are actually not ahead of you. When the king took the chariots and started running, Elisha knew this guy, you didn't learn work. Because in the waiting season, oh good Lord, in the waiting season, God begins to mount your wings as that of eagles. So while others are running, he gives you the eagle's wing to soar. And that was what happened in the case of Elijah. So whilst the king was running, the Bible speaking says the spirit of that unusual speed descended on him. And scripture tells us that he overtook the chariots of Israel. I mean, they overtook the chariots of the king. Hear me? If your friends feel they've gone ahead of you, tell them, God bless you, more grace wherever you are. Never you be in competition with anybody that feels he's better off than you. Am I communicating? Never you feel intimidated by anyone that thinks he has what you don't have. I said in the chapel that whatever that comes late to you is because God wants to make you the latest. Am I communicating now? VIPs don't arrive early. VIPs don't arrive early. They arrive late. Late, 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 late. So whatever you think, I mean whatever it is that you think you don't have, God is preparing it for you. Am I communicating now? I mean, when God began creation, Apostle, God began by creating monkey, goat, chimpanzee, and all of nyama nyama things. But when he came to yours, he said, no, you will be the last. Because every good thing comes last. So when they think they have a better job now, tell them my own is coming that will be better than your own. Am I communicating now? Help me tell your neighbor, I will be the latest in town. Quickly, please be seated. How do I activate the season of supernatural rest? Which is the last and then we pray. Honoring your prophet. Write this one in capital letter. Honoring your prophet. This is very important. Very important. It's so unfortunate that we are in the body of Christ today where we have missed the value of honor, especially to our men of God. We have lost the value. I said this in the chapel of grace this morning that it takes a very high responsibility to be called a man of God. There are lots of sacrifices to be paid. Apostle, I must confess to you, since I came to this town, I've not slept for 10 years. I mean, for 10 hours. We're communicating with you. 10 hours I've not had that sleep. I think we came here on Wednesday. And today is already Sunday. Help me tell your neighbor, honoring your prophets. If you must enjoy supernatural rest. Let me tell you 2 Chronicles 20 and verse 20. Believe the word of the Lord. It says you will be established. It says believe in his prophet. What happens to you? We are Bible students. What happens to you? I've always said this that the prosperity of any man. The prosperity of any nation is resided in the king. Am I communicating? The hand of the Lord is coming upon Emmanuel. You know Emmanuel? Huh? Your brother. The hand of the Lord is coming upon him. Ma 
Okay, let's not be distracted. Eh? Let's be distracted. <laughs> Ma, you know a place like Oweri? Eh? Imo State. Yeah. You are from Imo State. Yes, sir. Let's not be distracted, Apostle. Let's continue. Eh? Second Chronicles chapter 20 and in verse 20, the Bible says, when you believe the prophet, your prosperity is sure. Show me a king and I'll show you his prophet. The reason why you are still living a life of servanthood is because there is no prophet governing around your life. You are vulnerable. I'm telling you, sir, SG and I, we are lovers of God. The reason why it looks as if you are living like a servant is because there is no prophet. You call apostle daddy, but truly, there is nothing like daddy born connecting the both of you. Oh, somebody didn't hear that. I can call you a father, but truly, have I taken you to be a son? I mean, I can call Pastor Victor now and say he is my father, but Pastor Victor does not take me as a son. Brother, you don't have a father. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me say this here. A lot of times, believers have made this mistake now and again and again. Any spiritual father that you do not have access to is not your spiritual father, but your role model. Did you hear what I said? Yes, you look at fathers of faith. Ah, it's my father in the Lord. He does not even know you. How is he your father? There has to be a connection between a father and a daughter. There has to be a connection between a father and a son. So when you call a person your father and there is no connection, sir, you only have a role model. No matter how you do, whether you talk like him, you speak like him, you pray like him, you do things like him. You dress like him. He's only but your role model. Your father must have a connection with you. I, I, am I talking to somebody now? Are we angry as you and I? Please be seated. Honoring your prophet. Show me a king. And I'll show you one who has a prophet around his I mean, just at his right hand, there is one prophet telling him, "Don't worry, you are, you are." But be careful because not every prophet sees. Hello, I can I can tell you. I know this is online, but can I tell you something? Apostle, your father described my fiance to me, told me her profession. That's where I knew, oh, good Lord of Israel. There are prophets around me, Dukuri City. I have to be careful even when prophesying. <laughs> Lest I say something, say, sir, you are missing one part of the information. <laughs> and can I say this to you? If you ask him if he's your father, he will tell you that the oil for the prophetic is not cheap. Most expensive. <laughs> It's not cheap. 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 That sister, I don't know you. I don't. Get me a pen and a paper. Oh, am I wasting your time? The prophetic anointing is not cheap. 
I wish I had time today. And that's why I was begging them to allow me to stay here. I wanted to see how to prophesy to everybody today. Yes. Ooh. Is there a person called Comfort? Is there a person like that? Where? Are you, is your name Comfort? Are you sure? Yes, sir. Don't lie here. We don't lie in this place. That's my name, sir. Is there any other Comfort? Let's, let's be sure. Your second name. <laughs> but your first name is Deborah. Okay. God bless you. Look at me. Are you together? Oh, your wife's name is Com- Oh, she's following online. The Lord bless your wife, sir. <laughs> Glory to God. Now, let me tell you one thing the prophetic does. Before the enemy comes into your house, you already know. Am I communicating? You already know. You already know. You already know. Your wife is following online, sir. The hand of the Lord is upon her. Amen. We will need to fight delay in conception. Are you hearing me, sir? Yes, sir. We need to fight it. Because I'm seeing she will take him. Ooh, la mami kaya. She will take in. Amen. But we will need to pray against miscarriage, all right? Amen. Yes, because sir. what miscarriage will do for her is it will cause delay. I'm seeing the anointing of God mightily on your life. Yes, sir. The anointing of God is mighty on your life. Yes, sir. It is. See, show me your mantle and I will show you the battles you're fighting. Yes, sir. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. The hand of the Lord is upon you, young lady. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Look at me. Let's pray for your mom. Eh? This lady thinks I'm guessing. Let's pray for your mom. Yes, sir. What's the name of Elizabeth's husband? Zachariah, eh? that's my dad. That's your dad. Let's pray for your mom. I'm seeing her battling with her health. Yes, break sir. down now, break down tomorrow, break down now, break. Is that true? Yes, sir. Let's pray for her. Please be seated. Remain standing here. Let me round up what I was talking about. Sorry for those of you that. Uh, I'm wasting your time. There are three ways to honoring your prophet. Three ways to honoring your prophet. Are we set? Are we set? Number one, you must learn to pray for him. Apostle, I didn't want to prophesy today, but the spirit is just leading me. Uh, <laughs> somebody said amen somebody said amen <laughs> alright there are three ways to honoring your prophet number one I said is what pray for him you must learn to pray for your prophet every now and then never you be tired of praying for your prophet in the boss you are praying for him in your home you are praying for him everywhere you go to you are making intercessions for him let me tell you the more you pray for your man of God the more God reveals things about you to him that is how it operates that is how it works the more you pray for him the more God opens things about you to him the reason why it looks as if you've been around this ministry for a very long period of time and it looks as if there is no word for you is because genuinely you have not been praying for your man of God. Pray for him. Constantly pray for him. 
you don't know what to pray for pray for your man of god are we together now number two how do i honor my man of god or how do you honor your prophet number two service service some of us we are we are older than the mandates of this commission but we have never served in any capacity <laughs> They call you in ushering department. You say, no, no, no. They call you in the media. Uh -uh, uh -uh. I just want to come to Numatech quietly and go back home quietly and go to hell quietly. Am I communicating? <laughs> you must learn to serve. The mantle you serve will liberate you. The mantle you serve will liberate you. The mantle you serve will liberate you. It is the mantle you serve that liberates you. And to every mantle you serve, River Jordan can never be a barrier. Elijah could call the God of Elijah because he served the mantle of Elijah. Am I communicating? Learn to serve. And when you are serving, please don't serve with grudges. Your HOD tells you to do something. Mm, 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 mm. If not for the Holy Spirit, what will happen? What will happen? Ah, I don't want I don't want apostle to look at me as a bad person, but I'll just do it. No, sir. Take away that heart of grudge. When you are serving, serve with the whole of your heart. You cannot enjoy supernatural rest without serving the mantle that you are under. I'm telling you the truth. Pastors, are we listening? Without grudges, ready to serve, genuinely from your heart. You may not have, but when they call for, you are ready to respond. It shows that you are not a bastard. It shows that you are under a covering. Am I communicating in this place? Help me tell your neighbor, learn to serve. In the church, this, is, this aspect is what is missing. You, you hardly find people that serve. Hello? You hardly find people that what? That serve. When you come to church, you touch the seats. If they are dusty. What makes you not to come and also clean the chairs? Am I talking to somebody here? Help me tell the neighbor again, learn to serve. Elijah could only call on the God of Elisha because he knew he had served. He had paid his dues. Apostle, can I tell you this? Prophets are the most difficult set of people to work with. I must tell, oh, this is not minister's conference. They are very annoying to follow very annoying if any prophet you are following is not annoying check very well he's an evangelist <laughs> he's a pastor <laughs> are we together now yes some of you may be complaining here we will send apostle message you will not reply till after three days that's how they are don't complain we will call him switch off Somebody is dying, switch off. You send him seed of one million. He will never send you a message of, I have received it. I told you they are very annoying. But you know what you are looking for. That is how he works. You are not doing it because you want a reply from him. That is a very wrong way of thinking. I'm, I'm angry, I'm angry. You are the one that needs help. Your anger will not help you. Am I communicating? So whether if you are angry with him or not, it does not increase nor decrease the anointing. Hello? <laughs> oh, some people will not like the message. Don't worry. In the next few minutes, I'll run out. <laughs> Please be seated. Number three. How do you honor your prophets? With your resources. With your resources. With your resources. With 
your resources. You honor your prophet with your resources. You are not tired of giving to your prophet. Can I say this apostle? You don't do your prophet any good when you give to your prophet. Abraham say, keep your gift lest you say you made Abraham rich. It is the soil that needs the seed, not the seed that needs the soil. Am I communicating now? You know matter. Eh? Mata. Yes. You know Alheri. My younger sister, all of them. Okay. Let's continue. That a man, you want to give to a prophet and you are frowning your face, you will take back your money. Apostle, do you understand what I'm saying? You do it, Abby. Take it back. Some people are frowning. Ah, wait. Why is Apostle talking like this this year? Take back your resources. You are not doing the prophet any good. For the prophet to collect it from you is a, is a big favor to you. Am I communicating? These are the things that they will never teach us in our local churches. And that's why you experience poverty around such congregation. Do you understand what I'm saying? In your prophet is residing your prosperity. It's scriptural. It's scriptural. Let me say this again. Pastor Henry, never get used to your prophet. He wants to get close to you. Be running away. He wants to get close to you. Be run, deliberately be doing it. Because it has a way of taking away that eyes of value. And virtue, I mean virtues flow out of value. Virtues flow out of value. Virtues flow out of value. The more you place value on your man of God, the more you experience what he is carrying. The more you experience the anointing of God upon his head. Virtues flow out of value. Honor your prophets with your resources. They may criticize you for what you are doing. You are not foolish. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are not foolish. You are not stupid. There is a bank in heaven. You are storing your treasures. And when the clouds are heavy, it will empty itself. Am I communicating here? Never you get tired. I was discussing with Apostle. What was it yesterday? And we're discussing. And I said to him, There is actually nobody that has everything to give. It takes the heart of a giver to give. Do you understand what I'm saying? There are moments where it is only 500 naira you have in your bank account. And you will hear the Holy Spirit whisper to you, send the recharge card of 500 to Apostle. You heard the Holy Spirit. It's not witchcraft. You heard him said it. Am I communicating here? I beg you, and of course, I know SJ and I, we are lovers of God, and we know when the Holy Spirit talks. I was sharing with them the experience I had earlier this year, and I also shared with Apostle, of meeting with a state governor. And then while we were about leaving, the man gave us a bag of money. And how much was in there? Eight millionaire. Ah, God bless you. Thank you so much, Apostle, for coming. Ooh. We started blowing in capital tongues. See, in this place, we are sincere. Eh? Apostle, we are sincere people. We are blowing in tongues. But when, while, while we are blowing in tongues, the Holy Spirit said, don't collect. Don't what? Somebody is now saying, yeah? He said, don't collect. Hear me. When you get to the point where the Holy Spirit begins to tell you, don't collect what you think will prosper you. I beg you, don't collect. And I looked at His Excellency. I said, thank you so much for what you've done. I celebrate you. But uh, I think I'm not obliged to collect this from you. Ah, no, 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 no. 
pastors come here and then we give them something. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just. Remember, I can't collect it. Thank you so much. You know why? When I went out of the state house, the Holy Spirit said to me, nobody has the right to buy prayers. No matter how wealthy you are. So when your prophet receives anything from you, it's not because you drop something on the floor. So God used that to teach me. Let me tell you as a ministry, we had needs to take care of. We needed money. As a matter of fact, Apostle told me something. He said, that would have afforded me a good <laughs> A very good car. Hope. Do you understand what I'm saying? A very good car. But the Holy Spirit said, don't collect. There are a lot of you, you are suffering what you are suffering because you neglected the voice of the Holy Spirit. You are where you are because at some point when the Holy Ghost gave you a clear instruction, you said, no, no, no. I bind the familiar voice. The familiar voice from my mother's house. Which house? The Holy Spirit is talking to you. Am I communicating here? And I shared with the Apostle today, tomorrow, I can call His Excellency, I can call Her Excellency on a goal. They respond to the call. You know why? They know this one is not driven by money. You have succeeded. Pastors, you have just successfully held your integrity on high. I was sharing with the Apostle again a few days ago before I came here. Our excellence was saying, please, can you speak with His Excellency? I need you to address some things happening around you. I said, wait first. Let me go to Meduguri and come back. You tell them to wait. Yes, sir. You tell them to wait. Yes, Seest thou a man diligent in his works? He will stand before kings and not ordinary men. In the days of old, you wait for the prophet, not the prophet wait for you. But in our today's generation, the things of this world has made a lot of men of God sold their birthright. I wouldn't know the men of God that are flowing online now, but I believe it's a challenge to them now. Apostle, if God is not asking you to receive anything from someone, don't be too shy to tell the person, take your gifts back. Because whilst the person is bringing it to you, that person may be having an ulterior motive. So hear me, it's a privilege for you when a prophet receives anything from you anything at all i have sons that are generals I, I, I was telling them in the in the leadership seminar i tell them god bless you you kneel down kneel down kneel down god bless you god bless you god. you say amen god bless you amen god bless you amen god bless you amen so that they know that amongst generals there are generals you know who you are Am I communicating here? You know who you are. The spirit of God is on the inside of you. You carry what they don't carry, sir. See men of God begging for attention. Except it is not God that sends you. If God sends you, he will give you transport money. But when God no send you, you will trek. Am I communicating here? I know this is not your usual... Uh, Sunday meeting. Oh, next week you hear about to, today. This is the way I want to talk to us. Am I communicating? For some people, this is already a deliverance for them. Help me tell your neighbor, honor your prophet with your resources. Stand to your feet as we pray. Father, we thank you. We give you the glory. Like I said, I was just passing by. I said, let me just... Huh? I didn't come for preaching. I just... Let me pass by and... Uh, are we together now? It, it was not planned. Just be passing and then... <laughs> I can't pass like that. I mean, directly opposite. No, let me just branch. Hallelujah. I hope you allow me now. And I release a fatherly blessing of everyone under the sound of my voice. Online and on site. After tonight's meeting, your lives will never remain the same again. 
the Lord just told me there are those that are called into the prophetic as I stand here I decree the portal of your prophetic grace is activated now SGNI that grace is activated now just lift up your two hands as you receive it's activated now 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 the prophetic the prophetic mantle the prophetic grace the prophetic mantle the prophetic grace the prophetic mantle I decree the eyes of your spirit are open now 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 I see prophetess 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 I see prophetess prophetess I see prophets in this place I open up your eyes now I release upon you a fatherly blessing in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Aha. Uh-huh. Prophets don't move. When they move, they stir up waters. Prophets are not found everywhere. But whenever they are found, they stir up waters. I activate portals of the prophetic. Shaba Perusa Papai Ikados Ketete Hold on I didn't come for much things I only came Whilst we're driving here God said there are There are those that will become so accurate in the prophetic So accurate So accurate This lady Touch her the hand of God is coming upon you. I learned you are one of the pastors. The hand of God is coming upon you. Amen. You know Hannah? My elder sister. Eh? My elder sister. Hannah? Yes, Hannah. She's your elder sister? Yes, sir. Some of you will be... You know Joshua? My younger brother. Joshua? Yes, sir. I'll tell you things about them. That's why I'm calling their names. Everyone lift up your hands. Now there are three great prophetess and prophets amongst us. Um, when they see me, they know that uh, God is about to update their prophetic grace now. Holy Spirit, as I stretch forth my hands on my left and on my right, I decree, let that oil open those. Let it open their eyes. The prophetic anointing. That's right. That's right. That's the number one. I open you up to your office. I open you up to your office. Now, 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 now. Shakwa take it, take it, take. Zike perus kapa. Shepe ruas kata. Rapa pa de kete. Aya, 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 aya. Shara do 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 Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hold on. There are those that 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 desire the gift of the prophetic apostle they desire it the bible says covet after it covet so you may not be a born prophet victory but the anointing for the prophetic can come on you the hand of god is upon this family this lady this lady god is in particular of her Ooh. Sister, you said you know Joshua, right? Yes, sir. Uh, I don't know, but I'm hearing. Uh, uh, 
I'm hearing a native name. Yes, sir. Huh? Okay. Something like I know when this anointing of the prophet comes, oh, and I'm running out of time. God, help me. The spirit of my father is upon me, and my eyes are opened. Zapa Ambela. Zepelu Venana. In SGNI, there are terrible prophets. I, so accurate in the prophetic in this meeting now. See, we may not be much in number, but we are much in the spirit. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I'm hearing a native name. I want to be sure. Yes, sir. Is it Ebube? Yeah, Joshua. His name is Ebube. Ebube. Yes, sir. Ebube. Yes, sir. Ooh. Mama, everyone lift up your hands for as many that desire it. You may not be a born prophet, but you desire it. You desire it. The grace is available now. Now, there is a stream that is about oh my god, my god, my god, my god, my oh, cool mama, leke mene, 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 mene. Ushers, there are two ladies that you will bring for me now. Spirit of God, I want you to fish them out now. On the count of three. One, two, three. Now, now. Let the reke kobe rusa kaba be karida. Japare sekete. Aya, aya. Two of them. Masha kaba leke di. Arus kete. Le de 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 de. Jarus kete. Aya, 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 aya. The prophetic, the prophetic, the prophetic. My God, my God, Apostle, there are a lot of prophets around this place. I open the eyes of your spirit. I open the eyes of your spirit. Help this man as the anointing comes by the power of the Holy Ghost. I decree now, 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 now. now. Oh, Zabadaba. Aya. Oh. The eyes of your spirit are open now. The eyes of your spirit are open. Jaba bele bele be di bi 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 di the anointing is heavy on this young man. This one, this one, this one. Take it now. Batalo Simana. Believe help him. Simana na na ma na ma na ma mi kada. Jebe de be de be de be de ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da. De de be de be de be de be de be la ba da ba da ba. Thank you, Lord. 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 Workers, how many of you need change of level, change of status? Change of level and status. Change of level. What's today's date? I want to speak as a prophet now. What's today's date? Where are the workers standing? Where, where is their position? They, they are cut across. Okay, they are everywhere. Let's, let me use this. Um, I think I see some persons around here standing. I decree on all of you. Whether you are in the public relations department. Or you are in the choir stand. I decree. According to the time of life. This year will not end. I don't know if any one of you is believing God for a better job, a better contract, a good CGP in school. As I stretch forth my hands, I decree now, let the anointing that announces a man, regardless of his age, let it be poured on you now. The anointing that came upon David as a young boy, as a young boy, that power came upon him. 
I decree upon all the workers, let that anointing that announces men, men, that announces men, is released upon you now. Is released upon you now. Is released upon you now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Holy Spirit, just go ahead and wave your hands to the Lord. Give Him praise. Give Him praise. Give Him praise. Give Him glory. Young lady, tell mommy, affliction will never arise the second time. Amen. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Afflictions will never arise the second time. Amen. The Lord is taking me through a gate, and I'm hearing a name like Alheri. Younger sister. The hand of the Lord is upon her. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. There shall be no loss. Amen. Kababenaide Kepenta Kapapa Tiki Bakai Zukute Baka Skepeta Tepeta Tepeta Pepom Pet Kete Ket Kot Kopepeti Kipa Kopepeti Tikepe Pekete Tepeta 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 Eat Kokokopi Kete Tepe Kepe Eat Kop Kop Kepe Keti Ska Ilotom Pete 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 Thank you, Father. It is settled in the name of Jesus. How many of you are blessed tonight? Are you blessed tonight? Are you blessed tonight? Are you blessed tonight? Go ahead and wave those hands to Jesus. Give him the praise. Give him the glory. Celebrate him for what he's doing tonight. Go ahead and celebrate him, celebrate him, celebrate him. Shaba bombrus sibarabile bombes kadaya. I don't know if there is um, apostle, you will pray for someone. Not here, maybe after, I don't know. But I'm hearing a name like Mirabel. You will pray for such a person if there is. Okay. The hand of the Lord is upon such a person. Um, we get to find out if the person is there a person like that? Huh? No, Apostle will see the person. What's your name, huh? There is a word for her. Oh, you are supposed to pray for her. I told to come for service but i never see her i don't know whether she came or not but i told them when they told me for her to for me to pray for her i told her to come for service but i never saw her maybe i don't know what the problem is where is that young lady is she the one under the anointing wow uh, did we discuss about this man of god prophetic we don't play gimmicks around here <laughs> Oh, Philana, Philadi. Apostle, thank you so much, Numatek, for having me tonight. I believe when we have good time, we will prophesy. God bless you. If you are doing it for Jesus, you can do it better. You don't just celebrate the gifts. Celebrate the name. Can we lift our hands and say, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Now, I want us to shout a big thank you to Apostle Dr. Eloy Michael. Want to go? Thank you, sir. Say it again. Want to go? Thank you, sir. We are so grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, sir. We are honored to have you. And we believe that next year there will be enough time. God bless you. One more time, please celebrate God for his servant. Amen.
Amen. Now, while we are allow Apostle to go right now, we can allow Apostle to go. The rest of us, please lift your hands. Lift your hands wherever you are. Graces have been released tonight. Mantles have been released. Destinies have opened up. And I want us to agree together that it will begin to manifest according to the word of the Lord. Wherever you are, I want you to pray one prayer and say, Lord, whatever has been released over my life from tonight, let it begin to manifest. From tonight, pray everywhere. Pray everywhere. No going out. No going out. No going out. I said pray everywhere. When you receive it, it must manifest. Open your mouth and activate it. In your finances, in your spiritual life, in your calling and ministry, in your destiny, it must manifest. That next level, the deliverance that has happened, let it be a relief. Let it be a release. Somebody pray. It is with prayer that you activate. It is with prayer that you activate. It is with prayer that you activate. You are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man in battle. You are.
Please lift your hands. Father, we stand in agreement with your servant and we declare that every word spoken from tonight, let there be speedy manifestations. Speedy manifestations. Let an angel of the Lord be released into your life, into your family, into your destiny. Let every word spoken be activated. Be activated to manifest in the name of Jesus. Whether you say amen or not, I command every stubborn door that has refused to open for you. Every stubborn door that has refused your prayers, that has refused your seed, that has refused your sacrifice, that has refused your service. I stand as an apostle of the Most High and I command those doors, be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. In the name of Jesus. Listen to me. Whether you say amen or not, I see an angel standing with a briefcase and the Lord is saying that briefcase represents the career of some people. You have been stagnant for a long time. But I want to prophesy in the name of Jesus. Wait. Wait. Just wait. You will say amen, but wait. Let me give you a testimony. You know, many times we are too moved by spectacular manifestations. Listen. At breakfast prayer initiative, I was praying. We were praying together with professionals and I met a man. I was prophesying to that man. And I told him that I see God about to do something for him in business. He's a military man. And I told him, I see God opening a door and you'll begin to transport things. That's the business I'm seeing. You'll move things from one point to another. As at that time, as at that time, they shortchanged him for some businesses he was supposed to do. That same day, a call came from Port Harcourt and they want to bring him into a crude oil business to transport petroleum products from the south down that same day now that's why i say whether you say amen or not under that same anointing i'm declaring to you i know this is 27 november but let me tell you something i serve a god that can do a 24 hour miracle i release miracle jobs now i stand in connection to the faith of god's servant and i release miracle jobs now you may be in one job but you need another kind of job that will give you the breakthrough and the blessing that God has designed for you. Wherever you are, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I declare that miracle happens for you now. It happens for you now. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. I have to stop here. Night of Wonders is coming next week. Yeah. Amen. I have to stop, you know, to honor the man of God too. He don't come and start prophesying again when he has done the work. No. I just needed to activate that. Night of Wonders. Next, this Friday. I want you to, if you are not interested in a miracle, we have just one request for you. If you are not interested in God visiting you, I just have a request for you. Please help me bring those that are ready to receive how do you explain a man come to a meeting he receives a prophecy and the same day an anonymous call comes from Port Harcourt doesn't happen anyhow so bring your friends bring your family members bring those that you know are ready for a miracle are ready to see God do signs and wonders in their lives just help us bring them and come. You can go back home and follow the service online. But I know that there's somebody listening that is saying, that night must be my night. Who is that person here? That night must be my night. 
and the Lord will be glorified in Jesus name it will be a night of miracles signs wonders deliverances healings of every kind it's all night so we have enough time and the prophetic okay the problem with the prophetic is always time but not in an all night apostle said he wanted to prophesy to everybody i will trust god to collect that grace maybe a night of wonders will prophesy to everybody yes i went for a program listen carefully we are about to close i went for a program a few years ago caro to be precise in the fct caro local government when there was supposed to be just a small retreat and then when i went there there were a lot of people a lot of young people there and i began to teach you know the way i do my things very gentle not like apostle and the spirit of the prophetic came and i began to prophesy to people i will prophesy to a woman i didn't know her children were there and i said do you have this person as your child she said yes they were there i didn't know the move of god was powerful in that meeting souls were won lives were changed when we finished they took me downstairs they said they prepared table for me to eat i said no i don't have time we are going somewhere thank you very much when i went back home to massacre when i arrived as soon as i arrived the call came they called me they said the people that came for the meeting went back home and told their friends what happened and their community gathered together i'm telling you a true story and went back to the hall and said where is the man of god we want another service they were calling me as at that time because the people were there waiting i said me i finished i needed to eat as at that time the move of god is about to break out in this city you've not seen anything yet come for night of wonders the lord will be glorified wave your hands and give the lord praise father we glorify your name in jesus name all standing everywhere please no movement will soon close but we cannot experience all of this and not give an opportunity for those who want to make jesus their lord and savior the bible says that it is the power unto salvation which is the gospel if you are here and you are not born again please listen carefully no movement anywhere if you are not born again or you don't know jesus as your lord you know the name jesus but you don't have a relationship with him or perhaps you are here you just know you were once born again but frankly speaking your life now does not look like the life of someone that has a genuine relationship with god for you this is your greatest miracle more than being prophesied to more than being healed or delivered salvation will be your greatest miracle and if you are not ashamed and making an altar call right now wherever you are if you know that you need to make jesus your lord and personal savior you want to be born again or you want to rededicate your life i want you unashamedly to lift your right hand wherever you are standing this is a call tonight to salvation this is a call to freedom this is a call to a new beginning just lift your right hand unashamedly where you are just lift your right hand we are going to pray for you right now most times people are ashamed but you listen to me even if you once were a believer before and you are not sure of your state with god there's such a thing as the assurance of salvation lift your right hand where you are i want to pray for you if there is any here we are going to pray if you are lifting your right hand lift it up well now come make your way to the front please you know when you say lift your i looked i didn't see anybody listen again i'm making the altar call if you are here and you want to receive jesus or you want to rededicate your life to jesus you knew that you were once born again but right now you can't call your life that that has a relationship with jesus and you want to make your ways right with the lord wherever you are please join this young man at the front god bless you wherever you are you said there were people there huh all right can we stretch our hands towards him and if you need to join him make sure you join him before the last amen of the prayer god bless you please stretch your hands towards him pray for him and you in front repeat after me say lord jesus i come to you today i repent of my sins i believe that you died and rose again for my salvation 
I receive therefore eternal life. Thank you for saving me. I am born again in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we lift up this soul to you. We thank you because he is set free from the power of sin, from the power of Satan. We declare today that the gift of righteousness comes upon him. We declare that he will remain victorious all the days of his life. He will serve you, know you, and love you as his Lord.